want you back. I'm not very good at this. I've never wanted to try again. Have dinner with me. Okay, fine. I will have dinner with you. Because I'm hungry. But we are only talking, and that is it. The whole of Garker is about will their relationship survive? And will it survive the emotional, psychological complexities that exist in each character and how they can work that out and change? And also a personalized threat that comes from Jack Hyde and Leela, uh, who's a literal threat to their relationship because she's, they're a threat to their lives. And so they become almost a symbol of the outside forces of society and stuff that would push Anna and Christian away from each other. And it's just realized in this uh, physical threat. Can to be quicker than that, Cray? Are you happy? I've never been happier. Her intersection with Christian just jolts her out of uh, her own personality up to that point, and I think really energizes her to um, to grow dramatically as a woman and her own sense of personal power. So what's interesting is that in her intersection with a man who wants to control her, she gains a lot more strength in resisting that and trying to make an equal relationship. And I think that kind of dynamic faces every couple of every stripe of what is the power dynamic in the relationship? And she goes from being a mousy little introvert to something quite different. The first thing about Dakota, which is special, I think, is that she's so friggin' intelligent. She's got this, I don't even know if she's, how long she was educated for formally, but she's got a super big IQ, and you can't get things past her. <laughs> you can't, like, ask her to do something with a reason. She's got a meter that's very sensitive. And uh, so she was relentless in her pursuit of trying to make this character as real and believable as could possibly be. She's also been in a few things, so she's very comfortable around the mechanics of making a movie, which is interesting. Some actors, sometimes some big experienced actors, treat the camera and the lights and everything as if they're in the way of their acting. Um, and of course that's crazy, <laughs> it's the medium. And so Dakota has a real, I don't know whether it's genetic or whether it's an instinct, that she knows exactly what the camera's doing and what it's seeing and how it's gonna cut together. Your boyfriend has a reputation. Do you wanna be kept or have respect? Do you think you're the first woman to try to save him? He's changing. It's not what he wants anymore, but it's what he needs. The actor is Jamie as a person who's just the most unneurotic, <laughs> straight ahead, um, easy to laugh guy who's so unpretentious and so kind of humorlessly self-effacing that he takes the work extremely seriously. I mean, he was, I thought through every moment of every scene and was 100% prepared every day for 100 days. And he has an incredible openness. You know, there are some actors who when you go up and give them direction, they have one of several responses. One might be this, silence. You don't know what that means. One might be, I don't know, it's kind of a stupid idea. Or one might be, okay, cool, I'll try it. And Jamie is in the last category. No matter what you throw at him, he'd say, okay, cool, I'll try it. And he would try it. So he was open to anything. He, had his, he was prepared and had his own sense of what he was going to do. But if I had threw him a, uh, 
a wrench into his plans. He just would adapt instantly and know what he was doing. Are you just going to stand there gawking? Yes. Jamie Dakota, uh, and this is not any exaggeration, from the very first day we shot to the last day we shot in Paris, they never had a f ounce of friction between them uh, at all over 105 days, whatever it was. And, you know, that's pretty unusual for any two actors who are in almost every scene together in the entire movie. There's always moments where somebody's in a bad mood or they don't like what the other actor's doing or this or that. There was none of that, zero. They just had this very comfortable, very humorous relationship with each other where they laughed constantly. If something were to happen to you, I could never forgive myself. How the fan base has spoken over social media about what they like, I definitely took advantage of that and definitely like got myself immersed in fan reactions to things.